Welcome back to my channel, Big Daddy RN, Nurse Mark here. And today is November 26. Actually, today is also my wife's birthday. But before we go out to celebrate her birthday, pupunta muna kami sa Pulaski, Tennessee. We were also invited kasi to attend the very first NHC Thanksgiving lunch for Filipino nurses. So, punta tayo ngayon dun, guys, ha? Papagas muna ako, tas diretso na tayo dun. Okay? Babu! So we're here guys, this is the house, okay we just parked, ito kami, pasok na tayo, natulog si baby eh. Hmm? Okay guys, so we're here in Pulaski, Tennessee, okay, <laughs> video na to, video na to, okay, so please introduce yourself, so actually the owner of the house is Miss Maria Wong, corporate director for NHC. Okay. And mga co-nurses po natin. Say hi mga po. Introduce yourself. Hi! Uh, ma'am, introduce yourself. Hi, Meg! <laughs> Meg, sir. Joel. Joel. And? I'm Aster. Ayan, Aster. So, dito po tayo sa napakagandang bahay ni Ma'am Marina. Oops, sige na mga po ang handa natin ito po. Okay. So, Thanksgiving lunch. Appetizer lang yan. Appetizer pa lang yan. <laughs> Okay, so nandito na po tayo sa lunch area. Ayan, so ito po ako. <laughs> Say hi na po sa mga kamag-anak niya sa Pilipinas. Sa Pilipinas. Namiss na ko na nanay mo. <laughs> Hello, say hi. <laughs> say hi sa mga Pilipino corners sa atin. Mga kamag-anak niya. <laughs> We're here with Linda Howe. Nicest person I've met here in Tennessee. Oh, <laughs> Say hi to all the nurses in the Philippines. Hello, looking forward to meeting you soon. <laughs> Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for everyone here, Lord. And we just thank you for all of your many blessings that you have given us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this time that you have given us together and the time to fellowship, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the opportunities that you have given us, Lord, and everyone here, Lord. We we thank you for their safe travels here, Lord, and just um, we we thank you for the gifts that you have given each of and every person here today, Lord, to to follow your calling, Lord, and to to be your hands and your feet. Lord, we pray for this meal that we're, we will share. We just pray that you might use it to nourish our bodies, Lord, and our bodies to your service. We pray these things in your name. I will be done. Amen. Amen. This is cornbread dressing, courtesy of NHC Pulaski. They made it. So, uh, wow. uh, and then you have gravy. So you have you put gravy on your dressing, and then you have sweet potatoes, and you have carrots. It's made by Miss Amanda, and then um, the sweet potato made by Dr. Ferrandez, and then you have the green have, to have green bean casserole, and then you have the ham. How awesome is that? We have Miss Linda today, right? Wow. And then it would not be complete for us in your own You know what? When Aster first started delivering Filipino nurses or therapists, they didn't have all I had was just the rice cooker. Well, right? <laughs> recently I've been in the grocery store because it just breaks my heart because all the little children arrive 
and they want to go to McDonald's to eat at McDonald's. And McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. 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 French fries. Yeah. So that was one fun. of Douglas's shops. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, now you can go to Kroger and they have little yeah. servings a of rice. rice. The oh. little rice that you can cook for the children. So now I load up, if I know children are coming, I load it up in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size yeah. of that dough pan. Oh, much bigger than the chicken. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> More nurses coming in. Singit po ako doon. Para po sa mga kababayan natin sa Pilipinas. Dr. Foronda. Pilipino Santa Claus. There you go. Time to eat. Wait. Ang message ko lagi sa Jokers. Mga tanong ko, lahat ng mga tanong ko. Yan, sa kanya ko sa tanong. Kasi mabilis mag-reply. Yeah, mabilis mag-reply siya sa'yo. Kaya yung mga questions ko... Walang ginagawa. Oh, Nauna no, no, siya kasi dito sa US. Eh. So, sa kanya ko tinatanong lahat. <laughs> Napakabait. Ang, ang bilis mag-reply sa'kin. So, ah. oh, so we're here with Miss Abigail Alexa. So, isa rin po siya sa mga kinukulit ko. Marami akong tanong when ano, yung processing namin going here to the US. Ah, say hi ma'am, mga kamag-anak mo. <laughs> mga fans mo ma'am. Hello, <laughs> fans. Medyo camera shy na. Ayun, sir. Hello. First name mo sir? James. Sir James. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. You gotta explain it to them. What did you say? Oh, oh, oh sir. English is not, you know. Uh, you know, in, in, in hospital, if, if they can uh, yes. count my yes, it's like 50 or 100. When they ask me yes, yeah. and the no, it's like um, 25. <laughs> because Filipino always say yes, not yes. no. No. More time, don't, don't uh, forget always like sana ko. Sana ko. Nako, bumigda na naman ako. Ay, ay. Mamaya naman mamaya. Nasa vlog ka na sir. Nako! <laughs> Oy! Uh. Nasa vlog ako? Oo oh, sir, bati na. Eh, may cut ako dyan ah. <laughs> Matthew's enjoying himself. Make sure himself. there is no wins. Arrows. Shadow. Hi, Shadow. This is Ma'am Nina. Southern Tennessee Regional Hospital. Southern Tennessee Regional Hospital. Oh, ayan. So, ito po. Makakasama po tayo mga nurses po dito. Hi po kayo. Shara. Ayan. So, nagkakasiyahan na po tayo dito. Hi. Hi. So ito po ay gathering po ng lahat ng mga nurses po natin from NHC and STRH uh, nurses. Kolaski. Yan. Ay, yan, dami na, dami na na dito. Pero ang dami pa rin food. Yan, sobrang dami pagkain pa rin. Parang di na babawasan. Parang di na babawasan kahit ang dami na kumain. Nahihira. Oh, yan o. Oh. So dito may hampal. May pancet. Siyempre, Pinoy. Turkey. Hindi pwede walang pancet. Hindi pwede walang kanin. Uh, may turkey, may ham. Dito. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Baka kasi may mga nanunod ng mga producer sa iyo. Nagahanap ng talent. Oh, tama-tama nagahanap ng talent. Baka dito pa ma-discover. Ah, ang talent to lang ano eh. Gold? Gold. 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 Agad, agad na talent, agad na talent. Ang cute mo naman, baby. Hello! Say hi, Diba! Say hi sa video, oh! Say hi! Say hi! Say hi!
you will learn that at home. All of you learn at home what the good Filipino is. When you come to this country, we stay the same thing. We do not Mommy? change. Be good. Do your best. Behave. If you do all these things, you do that to the people that you need. And more often than not, you get paid back the same way. And I try to bolster my ego. I'm not an artist. I'm just a humble Filipino, just like you. My father told me the same thing I'm telling you. You go to the country, you behave like a good Filipino. You do your best like a good Filipino. And you'll be good to others. You'll be good to yourself, you'll be good to others. More often than not, you'll be paid in kind. That's what I can tell you. And uh, since you are new here, you do all the things I have told you, you'll make it. Do you have any questions? I came here that, just like you, I was young. I was 23 years old. Wow. I came here as an intern. You are afraid to ask questions. Well, how, what? well I'll ask. Yeah, quick, quick. Okay, so um, you, you're very well known and well respected. Obviously, you did those three things. But what was the one thing that you did that really helped you assimilate in this in the community? Because you're good as a doctor, pero I think the, the the worst part I think sometimes is you're good at work, but then you don't feel at home, you know, mm -hmm. in the community. So what did what do you what did you do to make you be at home in the community? I treated people just like I treat myself. That's the best way. When people say hi, say, hi. You know, it's like here now, if you, you probably have noticed, if you're driving a car here, a lot of times the people will be waving at you. Yeah. Well, they may just stand at this. It's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's in the middle finger. It's the middle finger. It's this, not the other one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you no, know, really, one of, the, one of the advantages of Filipinos coming over here was the fact, or is the fact, that the Philippines was under this country for more than almost 50 years. Mm -hmm. And we still carry the same traditions. Mm -hmm. and so we are the most westernized country in the Far East. So we don't have that much, really, we don't have that much problem coming over here. As I've said, you'll do good. You will all do good. Mark my word. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> okay, so maybe you can add. So I'll get Mr. Johnson started. So I'm going to say about him first. I can remember when he first started here. And this community loved him from the very beginning. His reputation was always right spot on. He, um, we just saved that. <laughs> <laughs> no. We believe he saved our daughter's life. So, um, so, um, after a surgery, a botched surgery by another doctor, he ended up taking care of her in the emergency room. And um, after uh, he got um, Candace's, our daughter's uh, situation under control, and she blacked out, and he had to take care of her. <laughs> <laughs> you even remember that? I was up with him patting me. He said, baby, fine, baby, fine. We're mama, we're mama. <laughs> He has the reputation as a physician and a surgeon all over the place. He's been really, 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 really good. And it's just because he came here with intentions of being part of us. There's and actually a rumor. Hang on. There's actually a rumor that Dr. Ferranda is one of the few surgeons that could operate on president of America. Wow. Wow. That's a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, like, if you go to Nashville and get surgery, more, more often than not, they would say, why are you coming to Nashville when you have the best surgeon in Pulaski? Wow. That's, and so, that's another rumor. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's very true. true. And that I've heard people say that that had surgery in Nashville. So, so for me, who's been here in Pulaski, 
Dr. Faranda, Dr. Baradico have really paved the reputation for us clinicians mm -hmm. because they're awesome yeah. clinicians. Mm -hmm. So, and they, they were and they weren't focused, I think, on making big in Nashville, but they were just focused on the craft and the town that they live, mm -hmm. and really having that relationship. Those three things. So, I hope you guys remember that because it's not really just focus on what you do, even for just the hall, even for just the patient that you're taking care of. Don't focus about the, how to fix the whole hospital or anything like that, but just do like what Dr. Ferranda did, did, so, right? I did what I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, knew, I knew him also when he was studying in the profession. We were working with Babe Johnson. Babe, Babe Thompson. Babe Thompson. Uh, Babe Thompson. He was just a father the old man in the nursing home then. When I, when I met her. And I knew her when she first came to the nursing home. I was a baby. Noel. Yep. Yep. Noel. It's my little You also have said you will, you will all do good. Okay, so Mr. Johnson has been um, the senior VP for um, NHC. He just retired, so after 49 years. Mm -hmm. And NHC is 50 years. So, <laughs> so he basically helped NHC become NHC. Okay? And so a lot of our senior management coming from the senior VPs in other regions, our your patient care services started in South Central Region as a regional nurse, as a director of nurses. Your ADP for nursing, Brooke Vanderpool, started as a ADON or as a nurse as in one of the centers at Columbia, became an ADON. Then Mr. Johnson picked her as an assistant regional nurse. Then she became the ADP for nursing. Um, we've got, um, gosh, who else? We've got a director of uh, the ADP of social work for NHC started as a social work in one of our centers in Lewisburg, and now she's an ADP for social work. And I guess the reason why I want him to talk is because I know that you guys dream about here in the United States about getting a great job so you can help your family, right? And make your family better, make your, and make your life better. But I think one thing that I want to make sure that I challenge you is that you have the skill set, you care about the patients, and that I hope that you guys will use that to make yourself not only develop yourself in your career, but also do career progression, right? Because the more you use your skill set, the more people you touch, right? So that's what I want you to challenge. So, Mr. Johnson, you got my lead now? Okay. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I was fortunate enough to get hired by the. Uh, the founder of the company, Dr. Carl Adams, and I got to work with him early on, and um, then came here in Pulaski and, um, and started here, and as she said, done a little bit of all of it, and the thing that makes me, makes me happy is to see somebody start out wherever they are and have high enough standards that they stand out. That's what she did. I know standards that she stood out and went from the therapist to one of three um, uh, therapies through TOT and speech leadership and which consolidated that, those three jobs into one. She handled it, handled it beautifully. And each person that she talked about, um, some of the senior VPs and different ones that's worked in the region, they they got those positions because they were serious about quality care. That came first. Um, you have to pay attention to do, doing things in a very business way, and that should work hand in hand with really total quality care. You all will be supervisors. You all will be uh, leaders right off the bat. Uh, just as soon as you get there. I, I say things you might not even know what I mean, but uh, right off the bat means you get to, that's where you're starting. Um, and um, every time that you're given something to do, expect more of yourself 
and what the person may be saying to you expects. Um, charge nurses, you supervise. You, t you take care of the patient in every way by taking care of the people around you. And you all will be good leaders. I know you will because you come to this with a lot of ambition. That's what you came with. Not everybody here in the States appreciates what they have here that you all came to, that you all wanted to come to. And um, that ambition is what will carry you, uh, whether you're at uh, Hillside or NHC. Um, me being with NHC, I think you picked one of the best companies there is to work for. And there's a lot of respect for each other in this company. Um, and you will, you will get that respect just as he's, by doing the things he said. Uh, so I, I, I love being here with y'all today. I really do love being here with y'all today. Um, this is a beautiful, wonderful occasion. Um, and just, I wish all of you the best with NHC or with the hospital. No boy, but again. Yeah. 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 I hope you guys really heard that from both of them because I think you guys are gonna do great. So just keep keep the hope and you know, keep the ambition, the drive. And keep the having, smiles. Yes. I'm yes. fixing to say keep having the fun you're having today. At yeah. work and everywhere else. Yeah. I used to tell people one of the things that's required. Even in the hardest times, it's that fun at it. <laughs> I know, and he says that to us, like, let's just have fun. It's like, really? <laughs> but yes. But while you're having fun, you better get this done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, Mr. Johnson, one of the things that I, I know a lot of them, and I've talked to a bunch of them, and I, I, every single one of these nurses could be the potential, the next AVP for nursing for Absolutely. NXC. And I really... Absolutely. There's, there's nothing that can hold you back. It really gives it gives me hope. Be, seriously. Because you guys have that skill set. You guys have that drive. Even for the hospital. Even if you're, you know, I mean, you guys have, you have that in you. It's just a matter of just learn right now what they're teaching you. Soak it in. Learn the process. Love the patients. And then just don't settle. Just keep. Just do the, have the drive. When you, for the stars. Yeah. When you climb, <laughs> when you climb a ladder, what do you do? It one step at a time. Yeah. yeah. When you walk, one step at a time. Yeah. And it's not gonna be easy. I I was telling um, Joel last night. I said, you know, um, the biggest thing really for us. I, I think the hardest is courage. Courage in every work that you do because you'll see something right and you'll see something wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And almost always where I think we fail is when we don't have the courage to do things right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fix the whole building. You don't have to fix the whole patient, the whole unit, but you can fix what's right for the patient. Mm -hmm. And as long as you do it like what Amanda said with a smile and with kindness, right? Then you're going to you're going to be the best because you're focused on that patient. But if you focus on fixing the whole building rather than fixing the patient, when you don't have the relationship yet, that's when basically um, you'll that's when it, it would be hard for you. It'd still be good, but it'll be very, very hard, and it'll end up like you're at war with somebody. But if you just fix what you can control and just love on those patients, but keep the eyes on that. Smile. smile. <laughs> I'll tell y'all like I told my granddaughter the other day. I said, bloom where you planted it. If you're a rose, bloom, even if you got a bunch of thorns around you. Okay, Mr. Johnson, I'm going to put you in the spot. And because I think this is the other thing that the Filipinos, um, they're worried about this. Um, from the financial, because I think a lot of right now, they feel like um, 
they're poor, right? <laughs> but yet what I've been telling them is some of them that they make a lot of money compared to what the average Americans do. They're, you're in the top percentage as far as how much you're making. Um, so I'm saying it. So what advice could you give? Because when Mr. Johnson, he always tells me, and even Amanda, I picked cotton <laughs> and corn when they were growing up. And, you know, they work hard. Mr. Johnson and his family, his dad, you want to tell about that a little bit? And then talk about what it, what's your advice for them starting out, really? Yes. Well, um, I don't know hardly how to answer that, but I'll just <laughs> say with my background, um, my mother worked in a shirt factory, sewing shirts, which all of that is overseas now. They don't do that here now. Um, my dad drove a school bus and did a little farming and sold watermelons or tomatoes or anything like that as I was growing up and I worked with them all the time. Um, and there was a great work ethic in our family. Um, if you got the work ethic, uh, you all have got a great foundation being nurses in, a, in the healthcare system in America now that needs you so bad. Uh, so financially, you will have the income, and then it's a matter of just how you use it. You know, always spend your money like you're a poor person. I mean, that's that's <coughs> the best way to get ahead. Um, um, don't try to. Here they talk about outdoing the Joneses. That's is the statement. You know, everybody wants to outdo their neighbor and things like that. That's the best way to. <laughs> That's the best way to end up wrong. So, uh, you know, just, um, just, just keep your standards. Let it fall into your financial life, just like it does the rest of the rest of what you do. You'll be fine. It'll be a, it'll, you're starting with nothing, and uh, and hopefully the. I know some of the centers have given you things, you know, just a few things for the kitchen and stuff like that. That's where you started. And that's that's the way we started as husband and wife, having a few things given to us to get us started. And um, and in America, you can you can achieve more. Um, it just takes, like he said, one step at a time. Don't don't go too fast. Is that what you wanted, Maria? Yeah. Do you guys yeah. have any questions? Yeah, really. This lady. This or you can just ask. No. This Met lady someone. is fabulous. <laughs> She's, she came here and just has really done well in this country. And things like this, she does for, for people all the time, not just for you all. She really likes to give me a So, Hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Pili na nakanta eh. Pili Oh, <laughs> 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 
Dance, dance, dance! <laughs> 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 Guys, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I will go ahead. Thanks, Maria. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're much food now. I know. You have to eat. Are you